We've only got two more teams here in the Eastern Conference. It's a little bit already decided um, in terms of when we record today. So let's finish up here. Well, not finish up, but let's move on to our penultimate team. Look at that word. Charlotte FC, 33 points right now, currently sitting 14th now that uh, Miami has jumped in the live table. They've got five games remaining, this group. Um at New England, home to TFC, away to Chicago, away to Miami, and then home to Miami. What a weird little run of games there. I will, uh, I will send it over to you. Man, I'm not, I'm not high on this Charlotte team. I just, I don't see anything clicking for them at the moment. They certainly have not had a good season again. Um, and they have a tough schedule to end the season outside of a couple games. I think even even though New England's kind of dysfunctional right now, I think New England at home takes three points against Charlotte. Um, such a pain in the ass. Uh, I think at home against Toronto, as bad as Toronto has been, I feel like somehow Toronto takes a point out of this game. I just think Charlotte will have nothing to play for at that point, too. Away at Chicago, I don't think they win that one, as I mentioned before. And then they have the home and away against Miami. I think at Miami, they don't stand a chance. And then home against Miami, I actually think they'll take a point in that one. I think mainly because Miami will kind of be locked in in their spot at that point, so rather than risk a bunch of their older players getting hurt, like Messi, Alba, and Busquets, I think they'll rotate guys out. And they may, I mean, even the rotated Miami team can probably still beat Charlotte, but I think Charlotte at home, Miami, nothing really to play for. I think they can get a point out of that one. So I've got them getting two points and finishing on 35. I'm kind of in the same boat as you. I think you're you're not in 13th place, 14th place now by accident. You don't you don't get there by, you know, having a couple bad games but under, you know, knowing how to figure things out. So uh I do think they're going to struggle a little bit going into this. I do I think I think Miami is going to be the one that does them in. I I don't think they're going to play their way out of a spot. I think the results around them are going to keep them out if that makes sense <laughs> orlando yeah. scored orlando scored be on side be on side come on donkey mcguire rookie of the year my <laughs> goat bring red bull back to life baby sorry um so what i what i think is going to happen is they're going to get results in their first couple of games but so is everybody else and they're just going to be knocked out by happenstance so at New England, I think they get a draw. New England's just a nightmare right now in terms of everything that's going on. Uh, and they actually, they, I don't know if they, they didn't win their game. Yeah, they tied Chicago 2 2 last game and they had to come from behind to do it. Uh, so I think they can get a point of, off of them at New England. Against TFC, I, I got to give them three points because I know TFC, I know, I know Charlotte's bad, but TFC is like negative good, right? <laughs> At Chicago, I already mentioned, I think they get a draw. I think uh, I, I, I'm just not super sold on the Chicago team because of their history when it comes to the last couple games of a season. Seven draws at home. And then I have them losing both games to Miami. I don't, I don't think they've got a chance. Um, it, it's just, they're just too good too deep and too well-rounded now for anybody to get anything off of them. So uh, I do have them on five points. I've got them finishing up with 38. 